welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be talking all about sneakers and what sneakers you should get for the spring and summertime this year. I have five examples of shoes and sneakers that you should think about getting and brands that are in right now. I'm not telling you to buy all of these shoes, not at all. I'm just telling you options that you can consider if you're thinking of buying new sneakers for the spring and summertime this year. And yeah, I don't even own every single pair that I'm going to be talking about. I just wanted to have live examples of all these type of shoes. Okay, let's start with Vance. So, it's pretty much always been a shoe that everyone wears. They are comfortable, they're easy to wear, and they look good with pretty much everything. They have a lot of color variations and different styles as well. But this year I've been super excited about this high platform uh, look. They have it for slip-ons, they have it for old schools, they, yeah, they have it for many different styles and colors as well. But I purchased these high platform old school black and white ones because I haven't had a old school sneaker ever like this color. I've had different colors but I haven't had this original color and I really like this high platform look. It fits the shoe and also it makes it a bit different from the normal old school. But yeah, I really like these ones. I got these from London and also from Vans, slip-ons have been really into the summer and spring, especially these checkered printed ones. These are like super old ones, I don't even know how old these are. These are my boyfriend's, so don't mind the dirtiness of these, but you get the point of the print. And these are the basic slip-on, these are the normal platform ones, and yeah. You can also get these for the old school version. They have different, like this part of it is like checkered print and all. But these are something that you should, if you want Vans shoes, these are options for you. But yeah, I really like both. I would probably want to get these for myself and my boyfriend is going to get new ones. These are super worn out. These are like very old, very old. Uh, yeah they come back every once in a while and also the old schools you're you can't go wrong with them they are in every single year so it's not even a big investment they are a cool shoe and affordable one then the next style that i have for you or brand is the daddy sneakers so it's been hyped for the last like winterish to the spring like it, w it was hyped last spring a bit as well but now everyone's kind of getting into it and starting to like the bulkiness of daddy sneakers and probably the daddy sneaker or the bulky sneaker of all bulky sneakers and daddy sneakers whatever you want to call them is the balenciaga's triple s style i will post a photo of it if you don't know what it is they are most hyped and they are I don't know if they were the first one to came out come out with a daddy sneaker but pretty much every single brand has a bulky sneaker right now in their collection and yeah I would really want the Balenciaga triple S myself as well but uh, yeah they're pretty expensive and I would want to try them on because I've heard they're really heavy and not that comfortable to wear and I like to wear comfortable shoes but the one that I got for myself is, I think, the prettiest bulky sneaker that I've seen and one of my favorites and they're also not that expensive. So these are the Fila Disruptor 2. They have many color variations of these. They, the original one is white with like a blue red, the normal Fila stitching or the embroidery. But yeah, these are my favorites. 
and I think these are probably my favorite shoes for the spring and summertime. I got the ones with the orange details. Mm -hmm. I really like the silhouette of these shoes. They're just so pretty. Like, look at this. So pretty. But then I also have another pair of, or it's, they're not mine, but I have another pair of bulky sneakers here. And these are the Adidas and Ralph Simons collaboration. These are the Oswego 3s. These are my boyfriend's shoes. They do go with some outfits really well. They like complement the look, but it's meant that the shoe is kind of ugly. And they are pretty-ish daddy sneakers and then there are ugly daddy sneakers even though I feel like the daddy sneaker trend is kind of an ugly shoe trend or it's meant that the shoe is kind of ugly then the third one that I would recommend you looking into is the Air Max so Air Max has been in many years now I think three, four at least. They come up with new styles for their Air Max, I, or I think these are like old ones, but they're like cycling. And there are two different Air Maxes that I really like at the moment, and th at the moment they're really, really in. And the first one is these Air Max 97s. So these are my boyfriend's sister's shoes. She kindly borrowed these for me for this video. Uh, I really like the look of these. They're really sporty, but they go with a lot of things. And yeah, you can see these when you walk on the streets a lot. And yeah, these this is a really comfortable everyday shoe. And also uh, similar to this and it kind of the bulky sneaker of Nike is the Air Max 95. They're also a hyped sneaker and that's more like a daddy sneaker look. These are like more like a normal running shoe type of look. I don't know. I don't have that many Nike shoes or actually I only have one pair of Nike shoes. I'm more into Adidas, but I would really want to get this pair or maybe the 95. I don't even know which one I prefer. This one under 95s. Maybe I would get the 95s. I don't know. But these also have, or both of the shoes have a lot of variations in color. They have metallic colors. This is kind of a metallic look as well, like a silverish type color. They have gold ones. They have many options. So, and these are around, well, they are around 200 or less than 200. Then up to the fourth pair or the fourth um, style that I'm going to be talking about is... This has also been around for a while and they are the Yeezys. So Yeezy has come up with many new models and some of them are okay, but I haven't really... Yeah, my favorite is definitely these 350 V2s. They just... They just look nice and feel nice and everything. I just I just really like this look. But I would post a picture of the 700, the Yeezy 700 and the 500. And those are kind of the Yeezy's daddy sneaker. They are bulky, at least the 500 ones is really bulky. The 700 one isn't that bulky, but they're both, I think, categorized to the daddy sneaker category but if you're thinking of shoes i think everyone should own a pair of yeezys not everyone if you're into sneakers you should own yeezys but these are really comfortable and they also have many color variations i prefer these plain ones they have super printed ones and everything else but i'm really excited for the new colorway the beige one that's my favorite and then they're coming out with a light yellow one that is pretty nice as well I guess it's better than the the frozen yellow one and then I think they're coming out with the new white one or a restock of these white ones and that's pretty nice because I think these white ones are my favorite mm, 
I have these ones and then I have the black ones with the white stripe but yeah really like these and I really hope that I can get those beige ones and then the final pair that I have or the final trend for this spring and summer is of course it is Gucci so Gucci has been very hyped for a while now and they are coming out with cool things they have many cool shoes they are really expensive and high-end brand so but I have this um, Supreme sneaker these are my boyfriends uh, these are pretty old yeah so Gucci has many shoes I don't own any Gucci shoes myself but I would really love to get a pair I'm not sure yet or actually I know what I want and those are the Gucci A sneakers I would probably get them and they have many variations of the what you can get on the side of it there are like the bee and the snake and the tiger and all these very options so you can pick your favorite and also they're white so they go with everything and they have cool detailing so that is one Gucci pair that I would get and pretty much if you get any Gucci shoe it's in right now and also Gucci has a bulky daddy sneaker and they are the Gucci Rython and they have this dirty look as well as the Triple S from Balenciaga and they're really cool they're also pretty heavy I um, hold them I hold them in my hand in London and they were pretty heavy but I really like the look it's like a normal sneaker look but still a bit more bulky and also I was looking at Gucci's website and all the shoes that they have for girls for example and I really and also one that has been hyped a lot like last summer and this summer is the Gucci Prince Town slip on I think it's a classical shoe they also have it in many different prints in many different colors and materials and there are endless possibilities if you and also they have it with fur without fur they have it not just a slip on they have it with like the heel so yeah that's also a really nice shoe and it goes with everything and I picked this one as my favorite I like the brown and gold combination but I don't think yeah maybe that's not greatest for the summer but I don't know I don't know if I I wouldn't wear slip-ons during the winter time at least here in Finland because it snows but yeah also one of my favorites that I found is this Gucci slipper it has this gold detailing and I think it looked really pretty but yeah there are a lot of pretty Gucci shoes so you should go check out their website so that's all the sneakers that I had for you today I hope you enjoyed this type of video if you want me to make like a fashion version of this or other version of this or you yeah if you enjoyed this like this video and also comment down below if you would want to see the fashion version or some other versions but yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and also subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.